In this video, we're going to look at a legal problem called convert binary search tree to sorted doubly linked list. So convert a binary search tree to a sorted circular doubly linked list in place. So you can see here, this is our binary search tree and we want to convert this into a doubly linked list that's circular, right? Um, and then you can see here, we want to do it in the exact order, right? So we want to make this link list in a sorted manner, right? So you can see we have no one, no two, no three, no four, no five, right? They are sorted, the list is sorted that we're gonna return at the end. So you can see that in binary search tree, we have the left side smaller than the current node, right? And the current node's right side is always smaller, uh, bigger than the current node's value. And same thing for this one right here, you can see all the nodes on the left side is smaller than the current node, and all the nodes on the right side is smaller than the current node, uh, bigger than the current node, right? So you can see here for our doubly linked list, right? For each and every single node, we have a previous pointer, right? Also a nest pointer, right? So you can see for this node right here, we have a previous pointer, which points to this node, and the nest pointer points to this node. But when we want to convert it into a binary search tree, what we want to do is we want to get the node.write, right? So our current node.write is going to equal to our nest pointer, our nest pointer, right? And node.left, is gonna to equal to our previous pointer, right? So in this case, you can see in our this example right here, so node1.prev is node5, and node1.nest is node2, right? But in this case, we're using a binary search tree node, so node.left is node5, and node.right is node2. No, node2.left is node1, node2.right is node3, node3.left is node2, node2, uh, node3.right is node5, node4. No four dot left is no three, and no four dot right is no five. No five dot left is no four. No five dot right is no one. So based on this, how can we be able to solve this problem, right? So a couple of videos ago, I talked about um, validate binary search tree. So for that legal problem, I also showed you the second approach, which is using a in order traversal, right? to validate if it's a binary search tree, right? If we know that binary search tree, uh, we can use a pointer, right? We use in-order traversal, we traverse the left side first, and then we traverse the current node and we traverse the right side. And then what we do is that we use a pointer to keep track of the previous node that we traverse. So we can validate if the current node is actually bigger than the previous pointer, right? The previous node, right? It's the same thing. So if I wanna convert this into a, a circular, uh, link list, right? Cir circular link list that's sorted. Um, what we can do is that because we want to do it, one way we can do it is we can use a list, right? We can do use using a in order traversal, traverse this uh, binary search tree, convert it into a list, right? So we have no one, no two, no three, no four, and no five, right? We can convert this to a list, and once we have our list, we can build it, right? So that will give us probably a, a space complexity of big O of n we're in this number of nodes that we have in our tree, right? We are we're basically using in order traversal, save all, each and every single node onto a list. And then we're basically uh, forming, that, forming that connection, right? But what we can do instead is we can use pointers. Um, so what we can do is we can have a previous pointer, right? The previous pointer points to the previous node that we visited. And uh, we also gonna have our head node, right? A head pointer. Basically, the head pointer points to the head of the list, right? Because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna traverse the, the binary search tree, right? From in order traversal. So we've traversed the left side, the current node, the right side. So at the end, uh, we basically visit the last node. And the last node that we visit is basically the largest node in our, in our tree, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to traverse using in order traversal. So first we traverse node one. So we know that no one head is null. So we, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get this node to be, uh, so we're gonna get the head node points to the first node that we visit. And the previous node is gonna be no one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna visit the current node because this node is a leaf node, right? So once we visit node two, node two, we know that previous node is no one. So what we're gonna do is that once we have the previous node, we know the previous node is always smaller than the current node. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get pre right dot right is equal to the current node right the current node and then the current node dot left is equal to the previous node and what we have to do then is we're going to get the previous node is now equal to node two 
and then node two, right? So once we traverse the current node, we traverse the right side. So we have node three. Uh, node three doesn't have any left. So we visit the current node, right? So current node, so node three, so node two dot right is node three, node three dot left is node two, right? Based on this argument, uh, sorry, based on this condition, sorry, not based on this condition, but based on this, uh, this code, right? So, and then we traverse the right side, right side is null. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return back to this parent stack. So node four, uh, in this case, the, the previous pointer is node three now, right? Points to node three. So node four, we know that node three is smaller than node four, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get prev dot right. So node three dot right is node, node four. Node four dot left is node three. Okay, so then we're just gonna move on to node four, right? Point Previous pointer points to node four. And then once we get to node five, okay, so once we get to node five, we do the same thing. We know that this node does not have the left side. We visit the current node. So no four dot right is equal to no five. No five dot left is equal to no four, right? So then um, we're just gonna get pre is equal to no five. And then in this case, no five does not have a right child. So we basically, our, 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 our DFS is gone, right? Our, our, our DFS is end, like we, our search is finished. So what we're gonna do then is we know the previous pointer is pointing to the, the last node. And the head node is pointing to the first node that we visit. So all we have to do is we just do the same thing that we just did. No five dot right is equal to no right and no one, and no one dot left is equal to no five, right? So this is basically um, how we're going to solve this problem. And you can see in the code is really simple, right? So we have our pointers. We're doing our DFS, right? We're using in order traversal. So we traverse the left side. We traverse the current node, right? If the head is not uh, is null, we can just say head is equal to root. Otherwise, we're just gonna get pre is, pre dot right is equal to root, root dot left is equal to pre, pre is equal to root. So we move forward, right? And then we traverse the right side, right? So you can see here in our main function, you can see we're doing our DFS first, right? If let's say if there's a situation where we have null, right? Where we where our tree is null, uh, we can just return no null, right? Let's say we only have one node in our tree. Let's say we just have one node one. Same thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the head node is pointing to node one and the previous pointer pointing to node one as well. So we're just gonna get this node point to this node itself, right? Or in, uh, in another word, we can just get this node dot left is node one or this node dot left is actually pointing to itself actually. And this node dot right is also pointing to itself pretty much, right? So in this case, if we only have one node, this is what's happening, right? Um, and then at the end, if we have more than one node, of course, we're gonna get head dot left is equal to pre, and pre dot right is equal to head, right? So at the end, we're returning the head node. So basically, this is how we solve the problem. Um, and uh, there you have it, and thank you for watching.